In May 2020, Lawrence Gibbs walked into his home early from work, still stunned by the news. I just want to share with you that as of today, I don't have a job. The company let me go today. They said because of COVID. I know I felt like a state of shock, but it took less than two seconds and I was like, we'll be okay, it's gonna be okay. Those were her words to me, I remember it. Baby, we'll be all right. Audrey and Lawrence needed faith to believe that since Lawrence earned a six-figure salary in corporate finance. More pressure was added to their situation considering Audrey was retired from her career in banking and finance. She was bringing in an income working part-time for a financial lending firm. After the initial shock of Lawrence's layoff, they both say they felt God's peace. They didn't panic for two reasons. They were longtime savers and committed tithers. The way we tithe or the way we give, we give God 10% first, 15% to ourselves, and then the other 75% goes to bills and other discretionary things. So God honors that too, that we make ourselves a bill or make ourselves important. In Proverbs 3 and 9, the scripture says that the biggest act that you can show to God that you trust him is when you trust him with your finances. Totally. And that's what I had to do and that's what I did. Lawrence hadn't always trusted God with his money. Early in their 35-year marriage, Audrey learned to tithe off her gross income while Lawrence gave sporadically at church. So for about three years, Lawrence wrestled with the idea of tithing. I didn't realize that I was holding myself back or holding my family back from other blessings and moving forward. My relationship with God was not built up enough for me to really understand what I really was supposed to be doing, but I wasn't against my wife doing it. I think that really helped us out a great deal. At that time, Lawrence was promoted to a supervisory position in corporate finance with a 50% increase in his salary. In a new state and new church, they grew in their relationship with Christ. I prayed about it and I told God, I want us to be on the same page as it relates to tithing so we can be blessed financially together. Not that he wasn't blessing us and keeping us, but I knew if we felt the same way about it, it would make a big difference. After Lawrence was given another promotion that moved them back to their home state, he was still wrestling with the idea of tithing. I had been praying about it and my spirit and everything just jumped. It wasn't difficult for me to do then. It was not difficult at all. Once I started tithing along with my wife 10%, we saw an increase in favor, even more at our jobs. Things just got better for us and our kids. We were able to move in very, very nice neighborhoods. Our kids were in some finer and nicer schools. We've never experienced any serious lack since we've been tithing together. We've always progressed with jobs, with homes, with everything. He's always pushed us forward. It went hand in hand, and we were able to save, put money in the bank, and be able to afford to do vacation, little trips, and things of that nature. So after three decades of faithful tithing, they trusted God fully when the 2020 pandemic layoff hit. And both of us together as a team on that day showed that we had trust and faith in God, that we would be okay. The next month, Audrey took on more clients than she ever had. I'm a strict commission. It was like a miraculously in that June of 2020, I made the most money I've ever made in my life in one month. And it just sustained. Instead of Lawrence immediately going out and looking for a new job, they prayed about his new direction. They were reminded of an idea from several years ago about a new kind of serving dish. God clearly said, that's what you all need to do. We had to deal with different engineers and attorneys and patents and trade. We didn't know very much about that type of stuff. We dealt with real estate and lending. It's just unbelievable. I didn't even pray and ask God to, to triple or quadruple my business. It just happened. I totally repaid his salary, his six-figure plus salary. All totaled, Audrey's business increased five times, making 2020 and 21 the Gibbs' best year financially and their invention, EasyServe, hit the market. So we're getting sales as we speak. We're so blessed that God took an idea from a cookout to a product that is needed for the food industry. We're not chasing after money. It's about our relationship with God. We know if we do the things that he has for us, those things will follow. If you don't have a tithing relationship and you start one, God's gonna take care of you. You got to try it, testing.